You want to get married, Mr. Sanders? Yes, I want to get married. And you want to get married? No. You, it's so many problems with you, Angelo. The lip gloss and the text in your phone, and then you not taking care of the baby at all, at all. If there is any time in your life that you could do a good 60-second bag, it would be now. She's the judge who gives rules on the law and life. She's intense with common sense. She's Judge Lynn Toller on Divorce Court, where real couples deal with real life. Shaniqua and Angelo were high school sweethearts. And seven months ago, when Shaniqua gave birth to their son, they got engaged. But now, they're questioning whether they can live the rest of their lives together. And an explosive secret revealed here today may shatter any chance they have at staying together. I'm here today with my fiance, Angelo, and I'm concerned that he's not responsible anymore about our son, and he's definitely not romantic anymore. I'm here today with my fiance, Shanika, because she's a nag and always falsely accusing me of things that I'm not doing. Can this couple make it down the aisle for the sake of their son, or will their relationship be over forever? Today on Divorce Court Before Your Vows. All rise. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. You may be seated. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Shaniqua Montgomery and Angelo Sanders. The two of you uh, are engaged, and you guys are 19 and 21, and you have one child together. You are here because you would like to get married, but you're not, you, you have concerns and issues, and you want my opinion as to the viability of your union. You have given me a marriage license, which you have given me the permission to either tear up or return to you, depending upon my determination with respect to, uh, to your union. Uh, before we get to that, of course, I'm going to have to talk to the two of you. I have given you a compatibility test, uh, and we will go through those matters later. But, Mr. Sanders, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me why it is you love uh, Ms. Montgomery, but are uncertain as to whether marriage is, is the thing to do? I love because she always been there for me, and we've been together for four years, and I got a child by her. And I'm, I'm the type that feel that a child should be brought up with his mother and his father, mm -hmm. so that's why I try to do the things that I do and stay together and work this out. Now, you said she's always been there for you and have a child by her. You want to try a little more okay. with that why I love a thing. Okay. I'm trying, I'm try, I'm trying to help you. All right. You know, anything else you want to say yeah. about she, why she, you'd want to marry her? Yeah, she's a good woman. It's just there's some things that I don't like about her. And what would they be? Like, for one, she always falsely accused me of doing stuff that I don't do. No, I don't. Yes, Give me do. an example. Yes, you no, do. I yes, do you do. Like, one day she found some pictures in my phone of a naked woman. And I told her it wasn't for me, it was for a family member. But she went it on... It was for a family member? You were receiving naked yes. photos on behalf of other members That's of your family? That's the same thing that yes, I'm saying. Is that for, what I'm you, you, it was for, They don't have a phone no, or what? No, it was for... Yeah, they don't have a phone, so I let them use my so phone. So you get pornography for them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. basically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, very disrespectful. <laughs> and I wanna, yeah, that's new. Is you get points for originality, Mr. Sanders. You really do. Okay. Uh, go, go, go ahead. What other, ma what other concerns or matters? She, okay, she find the pictures, she, and she go off, she get to call me all out my name, and she snatched my chain off my neck and throw it across the room. Mm -hmm. This is a thousand dollar chain she threw off my, broke off my a neck. A thousand dollar chain? Yeah. I wouldn't have had to do it if it wasn't, the girl wasn't But the pictures phone. wasn't for me, so. Okay, uh, well, I'm not stupid. What do you do for That's a living, sir? Special. I work. Factory work? Yeah, the factory. She ripped off a thousand dollar chain. Yes. And, and y'all were going crazy. I don't know what a, what she, what's wrong with her. She a but little But you didn't tell her that what you did to my ring. You don't remember oh, when, you, when oh. you stepped on my well, ring? Well, Ms. Montgomery, what did he do to your ring? He stepped on it. This was the ring he bought me before my engagement ring. He stepped on it. Did you step on a ring? Yeah, I stepped on it. What for? Payback, basically. Did you buy the ring for Yeah, him? I bought the ring. Waste, That's waste like the money. That's like taking a hammer yeah. to your own economic toe. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. boom. You know? <laughs> right. Ms. Montgomery, have you ever caught him in the act of cheating? One time I found lip gloss in his car on the floor. It wasn't I for me. I get in the car, I'm like, Angelo, that. whose lip gloss is this? Well, we know, we, we're not claiming it was yours. That's not that kind of <laughs> accusation. We're claiming like, that it was some other woman's. I'm like, Angelo, whose lip gloss is this? He goes, oh, it's for a family member. 
I'm like, Angelo, no, 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 no. That particular woman, I know that she's not wearing, she's over 40. I know I she's guess, not wearing no beauty brush sisters, lip gloss too. from Victoria's Secret that teenagers my age wear. I, I know she's sisters. not wearing that lip gloss. Mm -hmm. He goes, oh, it was just for her. It's, it's no girl, it's no girl. That was one time. Another time, he's going out to the club with his friends. I, I didn't trip, I let him go, because I, I usually tell him he can't go. But this time I let him go. I decided, I'm like, well, let me confirm about that lip gloss. So I go through his phone. I find a picture in there of a naked girl. She's posing, I think she's all cute. I'm like, it wasn't Angela, for me. Who's, who girl, what girl is this? He goes, oh, it's for one of my cousins. No, no, and no, it's not for one of your cousins. Naked. 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 Yes, naked. Totally naked. But it wasn't that to me. It wasn't for me. Like I said, I let yes, my family members use my yes, phone if they if, don't have if one. If that was and, the case, if that was the case, was, you should have had enough respect for me and said, I'm other. not going to let you use my phone because that's disrespectful to my girlfriend and I know she wouldn't appreciate it. But they're not for me, though. I wouldn't have let one of my cousins you, use my phone. Do you really want me to believe that, Mr. Sanders? Come on now. But they not for me. not for me. They're not for me. Mr. Sanders, is is your sole or most pointed complaint about her just her temper and her, her nagging? Is that, is, if, if we could fix that, would you be ready to rock and roll down yes, the aisle? Yes, I would. Yes, I would. That's the only problem the two of you have. Yes, she's the world's biggest nag. If you live with it, you would know. I'm only nagging him because he doesn't help me with our son. We have a seven month old son. He does not help me at all. He will come in from well, work. Well, let me talk I about help. you. She <laughs> expects for me to help her at five in the morning when I'm supposed to be getting ready for work. Well, you you should help me. No, should he's help going me. to you know. Thank no, you. you stay at home mom. Thank That's you. what a stay at home mom does. That's he gets home when he goes to work. Should same he should help when he gets 50. home some. But but you know, up in the morning it's up and it's at work. Right. It's, she it's, want me to wake up, up at four at in the morning, change I, diapers, and make bottles. I'm supposed to be getting ready for work. It's fifty fifty. You sitting there laying there? You no, the money isn't fifty fifty. The stay at home work shouldn't be fifty fifty. I don't believe in that. Me too. You know, he's got to help some at home, absolutely, because that's a twenty four seven gig. But he's got to. You you got to. You know, circle all around that economic thing. He, he's got to get up and get out in the morning and go to work. He comes home, gets a little rest. But he, he, he can chip in. Home, he doesn't right. want to help. He, oh, she I'm want to me to bed. help as soon as I walk through the door. When Divorce Court Before Your Vows continues, is Angelo a good father? When he, Angelo walks through the room, he gets so excited and want to play and want him to get picked up. Angelo will walk right past and sit down and watch TV. And later, Angelo has a shocking secret. How long have you been together? Four years. Four years? Yeah. Did the secret happen during that four years? Do you wish you had listened to your mother? Are you ready to dump your mate? If you are, call toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com and become a fan at facebook.com slash divorcecourt. Divorce Court Before Your Vows is back with the case of Shaniqua Montgomery, who is having second thoughts about marrying her fiance, Angelo, because she says he is a cheater. And what deep, dark secret has Angelo been hiding from Shaniqua for years? In my compatibility test, I, um, I always ask if you got any secrets. You got a secret, right? <sighs> yeah. I looked at your compatibility test that you took. Okay. Do you know what you both told me? It's very interesting. I always ask everybody what's wrong with your intended and also what's wrong with you. Mm -hmm. Both of you had a whole long list for the other one, <laughs> and each of you had one thing to say that was wrong with yourselves. It was fascinating. It's, I, I mean, I mean it was so, <laughs> me. so, so balanced. You said that you get frustrated a lot and you can be the itty bitty bitty bit lazy. Yes, just a teeny bit. A but lot. I really no, don't see teeny. any it's other problems with me. Mm -hmm. It's a lot. And then you said I can be a pest at times. All the time. So that's that nagging thing. He said, but there are no more problems. <laughs> that's it. That's, that's okay. That's what However, said. when he spoke of you, he said that you were lazy, constant nagging, trust issues, immature, and the way she goes about things. Okay. She will make okay. the smallest things a big issue. You said in response to him that he can be self-centered at times, he is very lazy, he acts as though he's unfaithful, he would rather hang with his friends rather than me. He is cheap. He, <laughs> he is. When it comes to me, uh. he's cheap. But he's, he's immature, he's very immature, doesn't take care of our son That's a at lie. That's a all. Lie. At all. I mean, 
I'm not going to say that we plan to have our son, but when you have sex unprotected, then that's 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 what it comes out to. But I I, well, tell me about tell me about his actions as a father. Tell me about how how much work he does. Is he a good one? And you know what? Sometimes I can say, well, I'll look at him and see him with the baby, and I'll be like, you. I, you know, I'll be proud, but it will be other times where he won't even. I mean, the bait when when he, Angelo walks to the room, he gets so excited and want to play and want him to get picked up. Angelo will walk right past him, sit down and watch TV. And this is when I come right past come home from work. It doesn't I got matter. all type it of chemicals matter. on me, all type of okay, stuff. Okay, well, after I want to come when, home, when you, get in the shower. When you get out the shower, I what, once he does that, is there some time during the evening at which he engages with 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 your child? He does. He does sometimes. He'll play with him, or right. sometimes I'll go. Angelo feed him, and he'll feed him. But then it's right after I, I have to ask him to do something for his son. Mm -hmm. And as soon as he's done, it'll be it'll be. Oh, Angelo, can you change his diaper? And then he'll change his diaper and be like, Here you go. Mm -hmm. Be going. To, Don't you want to hang out with, with with the little one? Yeah, I always hang no, out with my don't. son, but no, you like. Don't. I go to work and she stay at home. So, mm -hmm. okay, so I'm with him Take all care of the day. Baby. He sees me I, every day. When he sees you, he's excited, and you will walk right past no, him that's not and true. not talk. Yes, that's you do. Not true. The you only do time I do, I be like, nah, it's so I can get in the shower and get the dirty clothes up off me when I come Even home. Even when work. you get out the shower, you no, still no, don't want right. to no, have no, him. No, no, that's that's a lie. <laughs> oh, uh, I don't know who says that. One of you doesn't think that you have a sex life. Is that you? <laughs> No, that's not me. <laughs> oh, it would be you then. <laughs> we, he comes home from work and he goes, oh, I'm tired, I don't want to, I'm so tired. I okay, you tired, tired every day? Every single day you tired, even on your off days you're tired then too? Mm -hmm. One day I decide, I'm like, okay, well, tired or not, I'm, it's my well, turn, right. it's my turn. So I, I, I get started, he wakes up and he's going. A couple minutes later I get to hear a little bit of noise. I'm like, I know he's not asleep, I know he is not Sleep. He went to, to sleep. sleep. To sleep. I was tired. You went to sleep. If, if I was tired. I was, I, was tired. Tired. I was tired. She no. wake me up out of my sleep. I got to be at work. I'm tired. You oh, always I'm tired. Sleep. When you're all day you're tired. No, when you work, you're no. tired. You're always tired. The things tired. I do at work, that's why I be so tired. It's a physical job, right? right? It's you a know, very it's, physical it's job. It's very physical. Right. So I be real tired. Right. No, I, no, right, no, right, no. Right, right, right. At least he's tired working. You know, in the, in my compatibility <laughs> test, I, um, I have... I always ask if you got any secrets. You got a secret, right? Yeah, yeah. I got a, I got a little secret. But how little... long you two been together? Four years. Four years? Yeah. Did this secret happen during that four years? Um. What, Angela? Go ahead. Almost. Like the second year. In the second year? Yeah. That's just, just clear the air. When Divorce Court Before Your Vows continues, what secret is Angelo hiding from Shaniqua? And might it mean the end of this engagement? When we get married, I felt that she should know. Well, we, we're not getting married now. If you would like your case heard on Divorce Court, call us toll free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com and follow us on Twitter at Divorce Court. Divorce Court Before Your Vows returns with the case of Angelo Sanders, who says he would marry Shaniqua if she would stop her nonstop nagging. But will the secret that he is about to reveal make Shaniqua have second thoughts about marrying him? That shit's just clear the air. Uh, all right. I messed around with a girl, and we almost had a baby. She didn't have it, though. Did you know about that? No. Yeah, that was a long time ago. Real long time ago. That doesn't matter. It makes it hurtful, though. Why did you tell me? Hmm? Why did you tell me? Because we came here to, to sort our problems out. And you wanted to, wanted to come up Before straight. we get married, I felt that she should know. Well, we, we're not getting married now. I don't think that should be the reason not to get married. There may be other reasons not to get married, but I don't think that's the one. Do you hear what I'm telling you? Mm -hmm. Anybody can screw up. Anybody can mess up a couple of years ago. Relationships can survive infidelities. 
uh, if as long as those infidelities are not ongoing? Oh, it's not. It's not a one-time thing. One-time thing, I mean, I'm not just talking about with that one individual, but in general. So I don't want that to be your reason. If you have another reason not to get married, that shouldn't be it. You, you, you heard about it. You, mm -hmm. you, you can fuss at him about him, get home. You get 20 minutes. Oh, just, I, I hey, tell him the news. But th th then let it rest. Then let it rest. You want to get married, Mr. Sanders? Yes, I want to get married. And you want to get married. Uh-oh. I, I did. I have caused trouble. I did. Now, no, no. You, it's so many problems with you, Angelo. You're not ready to. But you, I felt like I was doing the right thing by letting you know. Okay. Well, you. Well, I, I'm glad I know. But now that 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 was the end right there. It's already been too much with you and the lip gloss and the texting your phone and then you not taking care of the baby at all, at all. It's like, how much more can I take? I'm already feeling like I'm, I'm losing out on this because I'm giving more than I'm receiving. I'm, I'm just tired, Angelo. That's it. Mr. Sanders, if there is any time in your life that you could do a good 60-second bag, it would be now. If you this is the woman bed. that you love, he does not need the is bed. this the mother of your baby? If yeah. this is the woman that you want, now is the time to look at her and tell her not only how you feel, but what you're willing to do to be the man that can be both father and husband. Look at her and, and, and do your best. I'm sorry. That was two years ago. The reason I told you, because I thought I was doing the right thing by letting you know before we did get married. No. And I want our child to grow up in the household of both parents. And I love you. Uh-uh. Can't you beg a little better than that? When divorce court before your vows continues, can Judge Lynn save this engagement for the sake of the baby? I want a little black boy to have that stable family with a man in the house. I want that. I want that for you. I want that for you. I want that for him. You've got to be able to forgive him for a bad thing if he's doing a better thing. Try for your son. How about that? Divorce court before your vows returns with the case of Shaniqua Montgomery and Angelo Sanders, who have come before Judge Lynn to see whether or not they should get married. I'm going to say this. I wasn't going to recommend you two get married anyway. You're too young, 21, 19. But I am going to recommend that you two try to become a couple that would be able to marry well. And that's a, that's a job to do. You can take time, take a year, take two years. You can. Uh, uh, learn how to have a conversation without having a conflict. I want you to be, because you're not, you're at home, you're a stay-at-home mom. I love it when, when well, I want a little black boy to have that stable family with a man in the house. I want that. I want that for you. I want mm -hmm. that for you. I want that for him. You, you, you've, you've got to be, you, 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 you've got to be able to forgive him for a bad thing if he's doing a better thing. Uh, Will try. you try for your son? How about that? Uh, Will try. you try for your son? Mm -hmm. Will you promise me you, you, you're going to go get some counseling, some marriage counseling, yeah. so you can pursue a marriage? Mm -hmm. I can't give you the marriage license back, but I'm not going to tear it up for you, because I don't want to leave that image there, because it's right. not a torn relationship. It is a yet-to-be-born relationship. Okay. And so you go from here with a plan to make your life together and better, mature, learn some things, and I hope to see you in a couple of years. Maybe you'll let me marry you, OK? All right. All right. Okay. This matter is adjourned. <laughs> All rise. Parties may leave the courtroom. I have never, ever, ever cheated on you, ever. Never even thought about it. Never it was, even thought about it. It was one of the times we were going through our downs. Okay, well, if it was that easy for you, you thought it, you think I would just do something like that? Oh, we're upset at each, at each other, so I guess I'll go have sex with somebody. I guess I'll go do this, I'll go do that. No, that does not make it okay. I don't care what we're you about. I don't care if we broke up. That's, that does not make it okay at all. At all.